That way. No, that way. Hello, my name is Xaithan, 87. Last year, I've created a program called Campaign Splitter, which extracts map files from Warcraft 3 custom campaigns. I've given it a new functionality called Archon Mode, which allows multiple people to play the same campaign together. I'm going to show you how you can play almost any Warcraft 3 custom campaign in co-op using my tool. Every player needs to download the Campaign Splitter Jar from the download link in the description. The host, which is the player that creates the multiplayer lobby, needs to place the campaign file in a subdirectory of the Maps folder. The other players can place the campaign file in any folder they want. All players need to click the Open button and select the campaign they want to split. Every player needs to select the same number of player slots. You can add as many slots as you want, provided the maps have enough unused slots. Players who are not the host need to turn on the Extract to Download folder option. Before splitting, make sure that all players select the exact same options on the interface, except for the Extract to Download folder option. For the host, a folder with the same name as the campaign is created, containing the extracted maps, while for the others, the maps will be sent to their Warcraft 3 slash maps slash download folder. When the splitting is finished, players can close the program and open Warcraft 3. The host needs to go into custom games and create a lobby using a map from the campaign, and the others will be able to join it. If a player is kicked automatically from the lobby, it means that the options they selected from the tool's interface don't match those chosen by the host. It's important to note that there are two types of players in Archon mode, the main player and the secondary players. In the lobby, the main player is represented by the color blue, while the secondary players by the color yellow. I've recreated game caches in a way that works in multiplayer. This makes it possible for heroes and other saved data to be transferred between maps. The data is loaded and saved automatically, without the need for manually inputted codes. During gameplay, cached data from previous maps such as heroes and their items is loaded from the main player's computer. However, when the game saves cached data, it does so to each player's computer. It's worth noting that the host doesn't necessarily have to be the main player, but it's crucial that the main player is someone who has the data from the earlier maps on their computer. So, if you decide to bring in a new friend to an already started campaign, do not assign them as the main player. Here are some of the features of Archon Mode. All players can see and interact the same way with the game world. They can control the same units and can see the same cinematics. All players have the exact same resources, food, and upkeep. Each player has their own color, making pings and chat distinct. When a player selects a unit, a transparent player-colored arrow appears above that unit to tell others that unit is selected by someone. When multiple players select the same unit, two arrows will appear, combining their colors and making them more opaque. It's usually not a good idea for multiple people to control the same unit, so opaque arrows are an indication that players should select different units. You can support this project by donating using the links in the description or by subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you have a question about this new feature, you can ask me in my Discord server, in the Campaign Splitter channel. In the future, I want to extend this project to allow it to add co-op to maps that aren't part of custom campaigns. Thanks for watching and have fun playing custom campaigns with your friends.